multiple group investigation this weekend, September 25th weekend. But we're out here a couple days early. Uh, me and Todd Parsons and his son Joseph. I'm just watching, buddy. Lou. And we're just going to go out and set a recorder out at a location out here. Pretty thick. A lot of overgrowth in the summer. Uh, last night, uh, everybody heard screams. Uh, hopefully, the recorders caught that. If I did, I'll play it here. But, but just give you a good idea of what we're walking into right now. See a tree we can hang one on. <clears throat> I like to find the thin trees, young trees, so I can bend them, bend them down, so I can get it up high. That's going to be too thick to bend. Let's go over here. So you can get the recorder up really high. Try this one. We'll bend this limb down here. All right. So for that recorder I just put out, this would have been on Thursday. We put it out, and these recordings were caught on Thursday night. Uh, we did hear a couple of these from our camp, uh, quite a ways off. Uh, especially this one. It was basically just showing up as little blimps on my screen here. So I had to amplify them to bring them in. But I like how they're nice and straight going across, and uh, ranging anywhere between oh. 600 to about 675 all the way up to 750 hertz um, but they're not real loud but I'll play these for you and uh, from these vocals that we were hearing from camp this is why we decided on Friday night that we would uh, make that whole area the area that we we're going to concentrate on uh, which uh, ended up being very rewarding which you'll see here pretty quick but I'm going to play these recordings for you that we got on Thursday night and then we'll move on The last two clips were recorded between um, like 1 o'clock a.m. and 1.26 a.m. And this last one was recorded at 3.21 a.m. Also on the uh, this Thursday night, um, I had put a recorder up about a quarter mile, quarter mile kind of east of our location uh, on a pipeline. So the following audio, you're going to hear a knock and uh, some movement as well, um, which you know for the vocals we were hearing. So this audio definitely solidifies the possibility of a Sasquatch being in the vicinity um, or Sasquatches. I'll play it for you, and then we'll move on to Friday's activity.
I just want a Friday night uh, right before we decide to head down uh, out back behind the swamp. Um, it's about 9.28 p.m. The recorder picks this up. Um, it's a far off vocal. Um, I like how it's nice and straight and in between six to 700 hertz. Not 100% sure what it is, but uh, it's very possible it could be a Sasquatch vocal. Um, it was by itself. Uh, no other ones were there until we got down there and started doing uh, our little experimenting. But I'll let you hear this and then we'll move on to us getting back into the swamp area. We're all going to head back into the heavily palmettoed area, the back of the swamp down here, kind of spread out. Run some experiments to see what happens. Do what? Oh, okay, cool. So we've got the mark for the Bluetooth speakers. We'll do some call blasting down there as well, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hard part's getting down there. Summertime shows overgrown. Thorny, yeah, thorny, thorny. Damn. Gotta turn this back on. We get closer down by the water. Okay, so at this point of the next video clip is uh, us finally getting down to the water's edge at the back of the swamp here. And we're going to start working our way back into the palmetto area that we're wanting to research. Um, but on the way back there, you're going to hear uh, some odd vocals kick off. Um, then some coyotes is going to kick off with that. And then a really close, uh, I think, coyote. Can't be 100% for sure there. But on that really close one that you're going to hear, I'm not going to come to any conclusions on that. Um, and I apologize in advance for uh, us talking through some of it, but we're so used to hearing this stuff that it's nothing new to us, and sometimes we just forget our place. Um, but you're gonna wanna adjust your volume on this one a little bit, this next clip coming up, because I did raise the volume up on it, so you would be able to hear all the vocalization, coyotes, and everything going on. So we basically gotta go around the swampy area so we can get back into the palmetto area. And you'll see what I'm referring to when we get there. Hey, listen. Well, that's perfect if you're going back in this area. That's not me, no, I'm right here. <laughs> that's a good one. Well, we're kind of heading back in that direction. So. Hey, Candace, are you hearing those? Well, the us call us if she has a problem. Unless she just texted me. I don't trust these walkie talkies. <laughs> yeah, that's the PTT, whatever you call it. Are you okay? We keep it going to the palm meadows and then I'll turn the camera back on once we get there. Okay, so heading back to the palm meadow area way back behind the swamp. 
um, Gabriel Guerrero with the South Texas Bigfoot Net Investigations, STBI, uh, was utilizing his FLIR and uh, happy that he did because he was able to capture two images. Uh, this is the first one, as you can see right here in the middle of the screen, uh, there's a FLIR hit back there uh, in the direction we're headed. And I'll go ahead and move to the second one so you can see the second clip here. Okay, so this is the second one. Um, it's basically in the same area. And what it looks like here is we have two of them. Um, you can almost make out a head there and a head right here. Uh, possible shoulder. Uh, really hard to tell from this distance, but it looks like two of them. Uh, we also believe that these might be juveniles. And the reason being is what you're about to hear um, that went on for the next hour, hour and a half that night. Uh, we'll play the clips plus the audio from everybody. And you'll get a really good perspective of what was going on. Uh, pretty happy that Gabe had this flitter going on the way back there to catch these images because it kind of helps solidify that, uh, well, you'll hear what's going on. It'll help solidify all that action. Okay, so now we've made it back to the area that we're wanting to investigate and run some experiments with, uh, which mainly we're going to do uh, the girls doing some calls. Uh, to see if we can elicit a response. And we're going to see if we can elicit any responses with uh, Shelly and Jessica doing some vocals. Um, but in the direction that myself and Robert are heading, the opposite direction is um, Gabriel and Todd. And in the middle is Mark, Shelly, and Jessica. Uh, between myself and Robert, there's probably about 100 yards between us and uh, Gabe and Todd. Uh, so we got a good, good, nice spread out here. And uh, this is us walking to our location towards the Palmettos. And uh, at that point, we're going to start our experimenting. And uh, we actually elicit some uh, pretty interesting responses that you'll hear as we go. All right, so we made it back here towards the Palmettos area. Do what? Kind of yeah, that's fine because the palmetto will start right over there. So, I mean, this is good. Go uh, are we going to go in groups of two or? Um, yeah, maybe two this way, two this way. Maybe two further down. All right. Uh, y'all two going to stay together? Yeah. Okay. Y'all want to go that way? Or y'all want to stay in the middle? Stay in the middle. <laughs> okay. Y'all want to stay right here then? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. You're gonna go home with a lot of bites. Yep. Alright, y'all can hang out right here in the middle if you want and we'll let you know we're ready for uh, you to yell. Yeah, like two of us go down there, two of us go down here. So y'all guys will be surrounding us, correct? Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, it's uneven numbers, but yeah, we'll be able to hear each other, see each other's lights. But this is the area where we've been getting the vocals at the last two nights. And you will have already have heard on this video, or you're about to hear if I caught them. Looks like a trail. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how open this is. Far from them. Shit. All right, keep going. Back. Look at that big bad boy. You get right in here and hear anything that's coming from any direction. So.
Yeah, that's a good spot. Let them know we're set. Hey, Mark, we're set. Ten four. Okay, so now that we're all set at our different spots, um, the girls are going to be the first one that are going to do a vocalization. And at first they do one, uh, just one of them does one. Um, then they dig a little deeper and get both of them going. Both the girls do a good vocal. And you'll actually hear a response. And then the coyotes are going to kick in like crazy after that. It's only something moving back there. Yeah, yeah. I heard something too. Uh, possible movement over here where we're at in front of us about 40 yards. Something was moving back there. I guess nobody heard me. Yeah, 10 4. Uh, they can do one. We'll wait a few minutes and then we'll do one. Hey, uh, are they going to do their calls or what? They said the girls were going to do it first. Is that both of y'all or one of y'all? Dig deep, make it loud. Very nice. This battery's almost dead. Yeah. They got a response. I hope they picked it up on here. Now the color's kicking in. Mm -hmm. That first one, that middle one. I would say that was a total success. You got a response on that first call. That was weird. I got to change batteries in my camera, so hold on. Keep hearing something over here on the right. I don't want to turn this off yet. If something loud comes out again. Let me change this. 
just change the battery. Alright, so the audio you just heard in that clip uh, with uh, Shelly and Jessica doing their audio vocal. Uh, I'm trying to elicit a response. Uh, this is them here, the first call that you heard. Uh, took out the dead space in between. This is their second call, uh, the more deeper, longer call. And this is where the responses kick in. Now you'll want to adjust your volume accordingly, of course, here, because this part here where they do their vocal is not. amplified and the part over here where we get the uh, return signature vocals here uh, this is amplified but I took the coyotes out um, mainly just emphasizing on these three vocals here uh, nice and straight uh, right about 650 Hertz um, they're kind of hard to hear so like I said you have to adjust your volume accordingly but you can see what they look like on the spectrogram here side now back about 50 60 yards but we can't see it so we got movement on our right side now that's about 50 60 yards in front of us but we can't see it oh it's coming hold on stand by Uh, just re be prepared in case they're surrounding, but without a visual, we can't confirm what it is. I swear down here, one straight this way, and over here now. It's going to be real hard for anything to be quiet and that stuff. Okay, so this next clip here is pretty interesting. Um, we wait about five or ten minutes, um, not hearing any other vocal responses, but hearing movement. Um, of course, we've been hearing movement the whole time we've been here. Well, we just couldn't see it. Um, but the girls do another vocalization and uh, they don't receive a response. So I go ahead and do a vocalization and receive uh, a lot of coyote responses, plus something else that's so far off in the distance that we just can't make it out to come to a solid conclusion on what that is. Uh, but while shooting this clip, um, we capture some eye shine. I uh, didn't notice it when we were filming, but caught it as we were editing. Um, so we'll, we'll play that for you too and kind of just throw it in with this clip and so you can take a good look at it and then we're going to move on from there to the next clip where uh, the girls do start receiving uh, what we believe to be juvenile uh, vocalization return calls to their call Ten four. Uh, give us a heads up first I'm just like coyotes.
there's an owl going over here, going off over here by us. Is that what you're hearing? Negative. We're stationary. Damn, I got him fired up. Y'all want to just go silent and chill for about 10 minutes and see if anything approaches? That's where you heard something. Back this way. Movement? No, sounded like a freaking... Uh, oh, the howl? Howl. Yeah, 10-4. Robert heard it too, but I didn't hear it because I was talking. Way off, though. Because it was faint. Right there. There was an answer. 10-4, I heard that one. Okay, so here's the clip where you're going to see the eye shine. Um, you know, there, there's no guarantee of what this is, uh, but if it is a Sasquatch, it's up in a tree. Uh, but the interesting thing is, this is how it seems to be turning its head. Um, also, some of the calls of some of the shakiness of the camera, uh, but noticing how uh, wide the eye shine is apart from each other. Um, but this was an interesting catch, and uh, I'll show it to you. I'll play it for you a couple of times, and then we'll move on.
Alright, so on this next clip, I put the camera down for a while. I just got tired of holding it. So, apologize for you having a look at the weeds here. But um, basically, what happens is uh, kind of staying in contact with uh, my wife, Candace, is back at base camp uh, to see if there's any activity going on over there and to see if there might be anybody in that overflow camping area that uh, might be doing some vocalizations uh, just to make sure. Um, there is one person camping there across from us. It's a woman and a man. Uh, we did talk to them the next day, uh, Shelly and Jessica did, and they came over and introduced themselves, or at least a woman, and uh, told us that they were pretty sound asleep, but they got woken up to um, a rock hitting the side of the tent. It's, they said it hit hard enough for them to wake up, and we told them everything that was going on, and they didn't stay too long. They were supposed to stay another night, but they didn't. And that happens a lot out there. But uh, what we start to hear in this clip is uh, what sounds like a, just a real young vocalization um, with the flare hits from earlier. And these vocalizations that start here and through the next clips is where we get our, the idea or kind of the conclusion that these are possibly juvenile uh, Sasquatch that are vocalizing. And uh, we'll just let you listen and we'll go on to the next clip, which is even more amazing uh, because they vocalize back. That wasn't y'all, was it? Nope. Come from behind y'all. Candace, is there anybody up there in that camp that's doing vocals? Body of there, it's like dark. 10-4. It did sound familiar. Guys, that thing's moving fast. Candace, are you hearing that? more than one. I think it's juveniles. So why don't you girls go ahead and do one more call. Something moved that fast. There's got to be say again. Because there's no way that's one moving that fast. We would hear it. Now it's in front of us. Yeah, where my light is shining, we can't move it. It's not like it's in that area. That's not where I heard it from. And it's not like they're coming this way towards us. Where are the other guys at? They're here too. We're all spread out in a straight line. And it's going on behind us and in front of us. I don't think Gabriel does much. 
hot got one. Brush breaking. That's gotta be. No, it can't be. How? Candace, are you hearing that? Say again. I'm sitting here at camp and I can hear it. Okay, because it sounds like it's in between us and you, but there's more than one. Can you walk out to that main road and shine a light or even drive out there to see if there's anybody parked on that road? Okay, we'll do. Yeah, go ahead. This battery's gonna die pretty soon. I hope it caught those, man. Yeah. I don't know why I like coming out here. That's right by Candace. <laughs> Camping in Big Sandy. It's just like this, but I'm by myself. It's actually thicker than this. Oh, yeah. I think there's you got a little bit of two things going on there with the color coyotes. I wonder if I would try another one. Sure what you just said. Did you see anybody on the road? I don't see anybody down here. She's got a buzz. Drive Parchway and the other way and see if there's anybody down there. Drive Parchway. I don't know which way y'all are facing now. Are y'all facing back towards the camp or the opposite direction? I'm on live pointing that direction. Oh sure it's not us? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, yeah, you can head back to camp. Nobody out here. Go knock on their tent. Wow. <laughs> well, the thing is. Heard it from our far right, which uh, is in the middle of you girls, but further to the right, and then one over here on the left side, and then one behind us. So I don't know what to think about that. I know I was hearing it too. 
not you. Batteries about to get to it. I'm going to do one more call. Shit over here. Fucking mating season. <laughs> Alright, everybody else heard the one over by us? Todd, Mark, Jessica? Shall we go hear the one over by us? Alright ladies, try it again. That's a pretty good call. I think we should head back that direction and just kind of stop and do your thing call along the way. I think I should head back this way because I hear it close. I hear it closer this way than anything. Yeah, I'll be on the safe side just in case. Uh, head back to the camp just in case the thing has not been We will play it. Yeah, 10 4. We'll stop at the halfway mark and you can do that again, that vocal. Alright, so this following clip here this is from uh, Mark Gurley. Um, that's M A R K G U R U L E. Um, just type that into the YouTube and go straight to his channel that he's got going now. And uh, some of his clips from this night are also on that channel. And Alright, so if you would please uh, go ahead and uh, search him on YouTube and get to his channel and subscribe. Uh, he'd greatly appreciate that. As he'll be putting out some good content too and building his channel. But this here is going to be from his perspective. So this will give you a perspective from uh, where he's recording at. Um, they're in the middle here. And as you can also tell from his radio contact, you know, we're kind of uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. Um, trying to rule out all possibilities.
back right there. That's Gabriel, that's Gabriel. Okay, so you'll hear Jessica talking about movement off to her right, and then you'll hear Mark say, that is Gabriel, that is Gabriel. Um, he is not referring to the vocal that you just heard, he is referring to the movement. Because that was a definite reply back. Ask if he wants to pull Gabriel back in. That's yeah, where my light is shining, it came from. It sounds like it came from that area. They're coming this way. And it sounds like they're coming this way towards us. Hey, Gabriel. Where's the other guys at? Why don't you start bringing it in this way? That's a small one. That's a juvenile. Either that or another person. <laughs> another researcher. I mean, I don't know where they'd be coming from, though. We're pulling uh, Gabriel back in. Somebody fucking with us. That's what we were just doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she and one of her there's something over there coming. It's getting louder and louder. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing it. Um, it's like, it sounds like a small one. Does everybody think it sounds small? Love is grand, huh? Turn that big light off. Yeah, y'all comfortable turn the lights off? Yeah, turn that big light off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and turn yours off too. Let's make it dark. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Gabe. Yeah. Were you the only one over there? Yeah, over there. Okay. Through this remote, otherwise. 
this. I'd have it dark. Kind of weird. Have you heard yells at high pitch? Yeah, before yes. But that's that. It's probably Juby's. Yeah, sounds like. Where is Shane at? He's to the left over here. Feet over there. Okay, that's probably him I'm picking up. Then. No, he's to the left. He, it's him and someone else. Him and him and his buddy. Yeah, what's his buddy's name? Uh, Robert. Yeah. Him and Robert. Uh, it looked like I was sitting in a thermal glide, but you were wrong. What'd she say? Where are you pointing the camera at? I've seen something a little bit brighter, but out straight in front of me. Parkway, 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 Turn the lights out again, Could know? be yeah. just a tree. I mean, it's not moving. I don't see enough. It's not moving. Well, uh, we're definitely going to get them on uh, audio. audio so we can look at what they're. They look like on a spectrogram. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the vocal you just heard was myself off in the distance. Um, in about a minute, maybe a little less than that, we do receive another young center reply. Okay, so in this, this clip here, we decided to go ahead and meet back in the middle, and uh, we're going to head back to camp. But what, what we decided to do is stop halfway back and have the ladies go ahead and do one more vocal, and uh, you'll, you'll get to hear basically all the responses that come in from their one vocal on the way back. And uh, after that, we don't receive anything else. We go ahead and head back up to the camp. Um, after this clip, I will play the... Uh, the five replies that the ladies got earlier in the night, um, they're from a recorder that was way back in the location. Um, so you'll be able to hear this, what sounds like a young Sasquatch. Uh, you'll be able to hear the replies without us talking or anything and see it on the spectrogram. Okay, Shelly. Wait. Okay. Three. Yep. Well, this one's still over here. Will we respond? Well, let's go get out of the bottom of the trail and do it again. Right. Yes. right here is a spot. Okay, so this is uh, Jessica's vocal here. And uh, over here are five responses. Now, I've taken out all the dead space because um, these were separated by at least, you know, 30, 45 seconds at, at minimum. But the thing we noticed about her, the responses that she received is these here, these three, and this last one, uh, the fifth one, they all look identical in their signatures. Uh, but number four here starts lower, it's deeper, 
and uh, so that kind of leads us to believe that uh, this is probably more than one. Uh, there's probably two different ones here, um, two different ones vocalizing. But I'll let you listen to this. And as far as Saturday night goes, the next night, we had planned on doing basically the same thing, a few extra people so we could spread out a little further. But uh, somebody come over there and decided to run their hounds that night doing some hunting. And they were loud, and uh, they kind of just put the whole night off. Um, so after this Friday night, uh, we didn't get anything else uh, on Saturday night. Okay, guys, so there you go, and that is it for this uh, research weekend on the 25th of September 2021. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more out there, so as we get them done, uh, we'll be posting those videos as well. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, um, and like the videos, share them as well, and until next time, thank you.